in my work in the fishing world, I'm constantly asked why I've got so many different little tubs of baits. Now it's not a fetish I have, which I'd like to say it was, but it isn't, but I go to at least two different venues every week. Now a lot of the carp venues I visit, some are quite muddy, a lot of them are crystal clear. So that's what the different hook baits comes to. So let's say muddy waters, your little carp ponds usually, big gravel pits that are full of bream as well. These are the ones, dark baits, with lots and lots of liquid attraction pushed into them. My little code reds, shiny as you can see there, and little bits of plastic in there with it, constantly soaking in code red oil. Okay, the slick coming off that. Bear in mind we're talking about really cloudy, like a cup of tea coloured water. So that's them out of the way. My bottom baits, again code red. smell of visions what you need. They're soaked. If I squeeze one of them, which I'm not going to do, the oil oozes out of them and the glug. Okay, code red glug. You can see that there. One more, because my pop-ups are the same. Shiny as you like. Constantly in. Code red oil, because they're slicking all the time. Now these, not to say these won't work in the crystal clear waters, because I've fished clear waters that they do work. And I will say, the little bright ones that I'm going to show you also work in cloudy water, but this is about my go-to to start the, the fishing situation, baits. So cloudy waters, I will definitely be starting real pongy, really oily little baits that stand out more when the carp, in our opinion, can't see quite as much. Now we've moved across to maybe a slightly harder water, less carp obviously, otherwise they'd be cloudy also. My starting point would be either Plastic corn, we've all got some. I'll soak them in a bit of sweetener. Now that would probably be, on most of the waters I fish, my starting point, along with, I've got a variety of little Sonia Bates pop-ups in all different colours. Now they stand out like Felicia Beacons on a lake bed. Uh, where I am at the moment is 80% clear. The fish I've had have been on between either, either the white ones or the little yellow ones. I think the colour, um, whether it's white, yellow, pink, orange, is quite irrelevant as long as it's glowing. You look at a white bait, even when they put the weedy stuff in, the blue stuff, the white bait in that glows like a torch at night. So basically, clear waters, I would start with my little, my bright numbers. Again, I'm going to say this a lot. There are no hard and fast rules, but this is what I would generally start on, okay? On the muddy waters, Something that I've, I've been soaking in attraction for months and months. I've got two or three tubs of these in the cupboard at home. Two or three tubs of these and two or three tubs of these. So when these ones run out, I'll pull out another tub. That shows you how long I want them in the soak for. They've been in the soak for probably a year or so. But I rarely fail on the cloudy waters, very rarely fail with these really oily, really pungent, really stinky ones that when you open the tin, they make you recoil. But by God, they do their job. And that's me. So again, no hard and fast rules. I've bunged them too far away to grab the yellow ones. Have a variety with you, because chopping and changing will definitely bring you more bites.